Since the Olympics are cancelled this year, I've been asked to take over sport entertainment for the world. My first thought was reviving gladiatorial combat, but YouTube's policies sadly prohibit that. Anyway, I think we need a new Olympic sport that's friendly for today's world. Non-contact, robotic, mechanical. We're going to reinvent the ski jump with cars. In this game, you get to build vehicles. Nope, I don't need a tutorial. This single sheet will become something beautiful, limited only by my creativity. First, a seat for comfort. And I think we need some wheels, but I can't figure out how to put them on. How do you rotate these? Nope. Ah, whatever. I can use a superior form of power. Jets. Ksh. This is your captain speaking. We'll be arriving shortly at our destination. Please fasten your seatbelts. We may be slightly off track, but please stay calm. Ksh. You must now immediately adopt the brace position, pray to your guards, and leave us a five-star Yelp review before you die. Ksh. Reminder, we are still selling cans of flat coke for $12. Just press your bell and we'll get you soon. Okay, so maybe I'm not ready for that. What if I go a bit simpler? A helicopter. Just gotta strap some propellers onto these bad boys and we'll be away in no time. My new thought is, if I play some really loud music, it'll propel us forward. Well, that's the furthest we've made it so far. Have you ever been stuck on a ski lift and you don't want to jump down because it's 45 centimeters away? That can't be right. Well, you need a crap ton of spider legs. A crap ton of spider legs will help you whenever you're in danger, providing a strong sliding surface to take the blow of the rough snow, complete with fireworks to congratulate you on your purchase. And if you're asking, it looks a little dangerous, then we'd please ask you to f off. Who the heck put that on my video? God damn it, that didn't work either. Why is nothing working? Am I a failure? How do wheels even work? Why does skiing have two eyes in it? Am I gonna get a copyright strike from Norway for making this? Does anyone even know what this song is? So I took a crash engineering course and learned how wheels work. That was pretty good, but the email I got from the shadow organization who rules everything specified no motors allowed. We need to think simpler. Of course! I may not know how wheels work, but I know how this thing works. You know those things you'd ride around on as a kid and then you'd collide with someone else and break your fingers? Yeah, so that's my new design. This is the unquestionable epitome of movement, the ultimate utensil for translation, the upper echelon of maneuvering, the fast baby boom boom zoom. Oh damn, that made it further than the car! Why are we using anything other than this? Well, you should definitely expect to see this in the next Winter Olympics. I think I've done it. If this thing is the most powerful mode of transportation, I think we can do more than it than run it down a slope. It can conquer a mountain. I know I've got a bad track record with jets, but I think with this new googly eye design, I've really got a chance. See, last time I wasn't thinking electronically. This is the coding screen, and yes, this is realistic coding. I learned it in that hour-long all-inclusive engineering course. Just gotta connect the mainframe to the anti-hack, swap the routers, DNS, and uh, there we go. Look at that dual control. I wanna go this way. No, no, come on. Just, just a little bit to the right. Oh, God, what's going on? I'm going to go down. What is this? <laughs> yes, go down. You're making it. You gotta wait. That's the wrong way. And there we are. I'm up through my brilliant invention. So, you guys should expect to see some new toys on the shelves this Christmas. You're all welcome. Finally, at the top of the mountain. Wait, I can fly. 